Hey guys, it is Bubsy Boy here, and today we're on some Minecraft, and today we're gonna be in the jungle biome. Reason being, dangerous mobs are gonna be about everywhere. There's gonna be no village existing, and animal spawn rates gonna be very, very low. Today we have three goals. Our first goal is to be a big house. Second is to beat the Ender Dragon, and the third is to beat the Wither. Today we're going to attempt this and survive in the hardcore jungle biome in a hundred days. Yo, yo yo guys, welcome to the jungle. Today our first thing we're going to do is get some wood. And then from after that we're going to start building some tools and everything. Then after that we found some chickens. Didn't realize chickens even spawned in the jungle so we thought we'd just kill them because we need to fill up our stomach. And then we found a temple in the jungle. So we thought we'll have a look, but there's so many traps around. We thought we we're gonna die, but we got some strings, we got some arrows, it all worked out. And then we looted the chest and it was not very good, honestly, it was terrible. So we thought we'll get some cobblestone, just so we can start building some tools. We found, for eating, we found some watermelons, so this should fill up our stomach a little bit. It's not the best, but it'll do for now. And then it became night time, and then I thought I was going to be screwed. But the Minecraft gods are on my sides, they brought me some sheeps, hopefully we can get to make a bed. Finally got the last wood, made the strings into a wood and we're about to make a bed just to get out of this night time so we don't get absolutely destroyed by a mob. Day 2. Today we're gonna go mining. So we found a cave in the 1.17 update, between day 2 and 4, we'll just basically mine the whole time just to try and get some ores resources and then randomly I found a mine shaft in the cave I went to get some string but I nearly trapped myself in the gravel I found some diamond just in the distance and the chest which had some okay loot wasn't too bad so we didn't really loot it and then we collected some iron made some tools with it just so we can get the diamond In total, we got four diamonds from this. We even got some copper, but I don't know what copper is even used for, to be honest. I started blocking this up because I think I heard a spider spawner nearby, but I'm going to continue mining all these ores in the mine shaft. I even found the new Axolot in the new Minecraft update and it looks so adorable. I didn't realize I needed a bucket to capture these. I thought I could just get a fish or something, but I, I'll have to make a bucket in the future to get that. So I melted all the irons. I made a full set of iron armor just so I can protect myself in this hardcore mode so I don't die. So between day 5 to 10, we finished our mining, came outside, we found a ruin portal. So, in the chest, it was pretty terrible loot, but it was okay, it wasn't too bad. But I might just loot all these ores around it, so I can get a golden apple in the future. And then I saw a parrot, and I tamed it, so I can be my little pet, and I named it the Chumper. WHAT THE f I I don't know why that came to my name, but Chumper is his name. I found another jumper temple and I found okay loot, but it was just gold ingots. But I'm gonna keep that so we make golden apples hopefully in the future for when we do defeat the ender dragon and the wither. 
The first goal, as I remember, is to build a house. So we need to build a house very soon. It is taking a while, but we need to collect some resources and whatnot. I found this big lake and I feel like this is the best spot to make a house somewhere. But we're gonna start chopping all the trees down because we have a lot of resources to make the house. Day 11 to 16. I started building my house against this jungle tree because I wanted a jungle house. So I started making it with planks and stairs, platforms. Just so I can make a platform for the start of my house. And then after making the platform, I started making logs just to get the structure of the house started. And then I started putting a barrier around just so I don't fall down to my death. So I started using fences to make that. And then I started completing the roof. Now we're done. It is a small, very, very, very small house, but we're gonna hopefully upgrade in the future. I made a little pathway to get into the house with these vines. I thought I'd just do a little tiny bit of decorations inside. And there is my bed. We'll make a bit of lanterns just so we can light up the place so we don't have any mobs spawning in here. And a chest just for our storage containers. And lastly, get some good lighting around the house just so we don't get any mobs spawning around here. And this is my mini tree house that's already done and completed. It's not the best, but it'll do for now. Day 16 to 22, we need some food, so I, I started cooking some of the food that I found. I'm kind of liking my tree house. It looks, I decided I might make another one in the next tree. Just so I can make a farm and everything. I like it so much. So, I need to connect the platforms to the other tree house, so I started doing that. And then start putting grass down just to plant all these seeds so we can get some f easier food for the future. So we started collecting some wheat with some bone meal just so we can tame some animals if we see any on the way. I did find some sheeps, so we're gonna take them home so we can start farming them. Day 23 to 26. I got out, I started mining, trying to find some diamonds. So we started strip mining in hopes we do get these diamonds, which we need some armor. I literally mined, strip mined for five, four days, sorry. I didn't find any diamonds. And I was very close to giving up. So day 27, 29, we finally found some diamonds. We found a whole bucket full of eight diamonds. And then we found more diamonds. It just felt like it was my luck time, finally. So extremely lucky to get more, even more diamonds. Such a big mining trip, I only found 28 diamonds, which is better than nothing. So there'll be enough to make some armor, hopefully. Oh, I might make some tools, not sure. Trying to go back to my house, I did find a zombie spawner. So I tried running away, but I need to fight these zombies quickly. So 
so I don't die, or in case they follow me. I'm gonna try and take over this. I'm definitely gonna use this for the future if I need XP and whatnot. Day 30 to 36, we started making the full diamond armor, just so we can protect yourself and making some art diamond tools at the same time. I do need another spot for my for my house, so I grew another tree just so I can connect to it and build another platform for it. So it's gonna do the fencing just so I can secure the place. And we're gonna try and transfer the sheep into this new area. And then we started breeding the sheep, just want to get more of them. Day 37 to 47. We started mining some obsidians because we need to get to the nether. I ran out of wood, so I started dropping some, some more wood, just so we could get that up as well. Then I found some more chickens. And then I took them home. Because I accidentally broke my previous bridge, I had to make a new one, just so I can get them in this little container. Then I started make a platform for the nether portal. So I thought I'd try something a bit different and use a cobblestone outline. And as usual, we're going to make a bridge just so we can join in with the other uh, platforms. And lastly, we'll do a bit of decorations, especially because we don't have any mob spawning here. And now we're just going to make the nether portal. Day 48 to 54. The Nether. We got the worst spawn possible, honestly. It took a lot of time to explore this Nether, and we still really haven't found much here. Let's loot a bit of these ores, just so we can use it for building blocks in the future. After building her over the lava everywhere, we finally found a fortress. I finally found the one spawner after looking around a lot and find some blazers just so we can start getting some blaze rods to be able to get a eye vendors in the future. Finally I found some nether wards. I'm gonna take this back to my house. Day 55 to 60, so we went back to the zombie spawner just to make a basic XP farm just so we can get some more XP to so use for enchanting. I just wanna feel alive. So I took down the torches just so the mobs can start spawning. 
It's not the best, but it'll do the job just for now. I officially gave Chumper his own name tag, so he shows his name now. Look at this. The sheeps, they'll have their own circus. What are they doing? Why are they so quick to try and kill themselves? And then I thought, I'm in the jungle. I should get some bamboo so I can start using them as well. So I made some scaffolding with it to make it easy to build up. Day 61 to 64. So I started making another platform just so we can start building the enchanting room. So I try to make my own sort of design. So I finished off some leaves just for a little bit of decoration everywhere. I just want to feel alive. So and then I made a special spiral stair just so I can get up more on this tree. I felt so amazed at how, what I've just built. I was gonna make a platform around this as well. Now day 65 to 74, we're back in the nether and we got a lot of gold just so we can try and trade them for eye vendors hopefully or any other better loot. But I didn't get enough ender pearls but we got a lot of leather, that's for sure. So we went back home to make some enchanting boxes just so we can get some basic enchanting on our armor. But I need some more bookshelves. So I might go back to this, might try and get to the stronghold just so we can get some more bookshelves there. In the root, we found another bird. So we gave Champa a new friend. I'm not sure what to call him. Let me know in the comments. After a while of having a look, I finally found the stronghold in the jungle biome. So we're going to go down and have a look at it. But before finding the library, I found the portal room instead. But I don't have enough ender eye, so I might have to get some more and come back for this. I eventually found the library, and we're gonna start. And I found some good enchanting books in the library room that we can use for our tools. And then eventually I completely cleaned out the whole library room. So day 75 to 81. I started collecting even more XP just so I can start enchaining my armor. The XP wasn't that fast but... It took a lot of time to try and get all the XP to enchant all our tools and armor. My plan was to go to the nether to trade some more gold. But I found a forest and I realized collecting enderpearls became so much easier for all these endermans.
day 82 to 89. I thought I want to do something special for Chumper. So I've got a trap ready. And I finally caught a creeper firstly into the trap. And then I tried trapping a zombie and a skeleton, but they just would not stop fighting me. Very annoying. And then they kill themselves. And then I realized I could just trap in the boat, hopefully, and try and bring him there. And that night, I tried going back to the trap in the boat. Then after time, the skeleton, it actually worked. It killed the creeper. And I got a music disc. Both of these started dancing. So I started watching for three days with them just dancing to the music. It was all so satisfying. So I tried making an OP bow, because we're going to need that for the the end. For three days, I just had phantoms, kept spawning and trying to attack me. So I started killing them, so I'm trying to get some membranes out of it. And for the fight, we started to get some potions ready to beat them. If you guys are enjoying this, please do let me know in the comments. Because we get 50,000 likes, the next thing we're going to do is 200 days in the jungle biome. Let me know if you guys want to see that next. Day 1994, we made a massive chicken farm. So we started killing them all. Because we need a lot of food and XP. So we can start getting ready for the ender dragon. Finally made the strong ball. We started jumping into the end to get ready for the Ender Dragon. First thing I had to do was quickly build up to all these little towers and destroy all the crystals. And then, for the end of Dragon, I started just ki hitting it with all my arrows. And finally, with the potion's help, we destroyed the end of Dragon! It was so easy. We did it boys. And then I collected the Ender Dragon hat head so we can start decorating for our house. Day 95 to 100. We still need to complete our third goal guys so we still need to beat the Wither. Because we destroyed the Ender Dragon we got so much XP that we started making more swords so we can get looting and whatnot. We need to kill some wither skeletons so we can get the wither heads. We found the first head so quickly, but the remaining heads took so long. So I got out of the nether because we're going to try and spawn the wither skeleton here into the end. Because it takes forever to beat the wither, I thought I'd do it under the bedrock just to make it easier to kill. I spawned the wither.
And now the wither just started killing itself. So this took so quick and easy just to kill the wither by without even getting hit by it. And we have done it! Because we killed it, we got the nether star. We've completed all of our goals today. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do let me know in the comments. We're going to aim for 50,000 likes. We completed 100 days in the jungle biome in Minecraft. Thank you so much, guys. Let me know if you want to see living up to 200 days. Ladies, guys.